Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Again, we are visiting the incredible Stain City and we are standing in the entrance hall of this one of a kind 30 million rand mega mansion. We've done so many things, but we have never done a house this excessive. Coming through this metal door, you find yourself in a fully enclosed greenhouse area before you even reach the front door of your house. But talking about coming up to this house, it is an experience. The front facade of this house is all blacked out and it matches, so it looks like one full entity. On both sides of the house, you will find two car garages, although there is space for five cars within this home. There's so much to show you, there's so much to talk about, and I can't wait to get there. So let's go through that front glass door and let's show you what it looks like if you want to live in a 30 million rand home in Stain City. So coming through this massive custom-made glass door, there's so many things that are custom here. It all closes off into a full wall of glass, but you find yourself in this entry hall, absolutely stunning, full-on feature wall there that's decorated. We've got stunning decorations throughout this house. And on that note, if you want to purchase this home with the furniture, it's a conversation you can have with the estate agent. So don't shy away from it because this home has been decorated impeccably. But just in front of me is a floor to ceiling glass wall, once again, with a sliding door built into it that leads out onto an outside area that I can only describe as completely and utterly zen. This is a place we're going to want to stroll out, sit down, relax, listen to the water feature and just enjoy life and specifically enjoy this new sunny weather. I'm loving it. There's also a door right over there that leads out to one of your garages. The other garage you'll access just on my left hand side, like I said, space for five cars. If you're buying a 30 million home, we know you like your cars and this home's got space to cater for that. But talking about catering, let's take a look at where the kitchen is. And as I mentioned, if we're talking catering, this is the home for you. We find ourselves now in the kitchen, incredibly beautiful, white floating island right here, chef sink. Now this chef sink, there's something special about it and it's not just how nice the faucets are. This chef sink's made out of a special material that will not scratch. When you're washing up, when you're prepping your meals, you never need to worry about damaging this and I love that. Now, if we move over here, you'll see there's a full range of melee appliances. We've got ovens, we've got microwaves, we've got a built-in coffee machine, and you've sold me if you've got a built-in coffee machine. But there's more, right over here, in-built fridge opening up, and you've got access to everything you need. Obviously storage above and below, and over here, an in-built deep freeze. Still, I mean, a home like this, you can imagine the dinner parties you're having. So over here, you have a walk-in, very loud, Oh, I know, so cool fridge. How cool is that? Excuse the pun, but I do like having a walk-in fridge. You've got stunning lighting above this island. I love how it's been designed. Over here, you've got a melee induction cooktop. Plenty of storage over there, obviously. I mean, it's all soft clothes. The name of the game is silent when it comes to high-end finishing. And around this corner over here, you'll find your pantry. Now, your pantry has plenty of space for all of your under-counter appliances. It's got your double sink. It's got places for your fridge, as well as whatever other dry goods you want to store. So at least you can take that out of your main kitchen, but still have it right at your fingertips. But there's another room located behind me that I think a lot of you will find very, very useful. So follow me. 
So coming to this room, there's a couple of things I'd like to mention. One is all the doors within this house are solid wood and custom made. And then coming off of those tiles, you'll see the wood flooring is stunning within this room. And I love the room placement because it serves two purposes. One, it would make a fantastic office if you need another one. A sitting room like it is right now, a library or just a sunroom. But if you've got children, you can put them in here. They can play around while you're whipping up dinner, while you're sitting watching a movie. You know, they've got their own place that's close enough for them to feel comfortable, but far enough away for you to have a little bit of peace of mind. Now, another thing I want to mention about this home is that it has got a full on every single room except the bedrooms sound system. Right above me, you'll see the inbuilt speakers down lighting throughout, beautiful bulkhead ceilings. Those curtains are built into the bulkhead ceiling and then a sliding door right in front of me leading off into the garden area, which we're gonna show you in a moment. So don't go anywhere. So we've just come out of that room and we've spoken about convenience. So what other convenient features are located within this home? The first thing and one of the biggest are these pocket doors right here that you can pull out and what it will do is it will go all the way across and close off your kitchen completely. So if you're having a dinner party and you want to close this section of the house off, you know that you can do that in this home. Right over here, you've got all of the controls. One for your central air conditioning, your lights, as well as, let me pop around this corner to show you, over here, it's your smart home entertainment system as well as camera to the front door. You always know who's visiting you, so you're not gonna get any of those surprise guests. But let's move in to this and just take a look at this space. It is incredible. We've had tall ceilings, we've had three meter ceilings. This looks like a 10 meter ceiling at the very least. It is incredibly big. We've got stunning chandeliers both over the sitting area as well as the dining area. Yeah, we've got a 10, 12-seater dining room table that fits in perfectly and really does suit this area so, so nicely. I can't say enough about it. But another really cool thing, and we'll show you a bit later, is take a look at the runway to the four bedrooms running up there. So you get to look down onto this common area. I love it. But I'm sure you've noticed this. And everybody who tunes in often knows I might have a slight problem with taking alcohol every time I come visit. So let's take a look at what they've got up for grabs. You've got a walk-in wine cellar, stunning wine racks throughout, inbuilt lighting, and then here is where you can show off your best collections. Obviously air conditioning in here to keep it cool, it hermetically seals, so we do like that. But I'm thinking of going shopping, but before we do that, there's so much more to show you. Let's go off into the lounge area. We've got another door right over here that pushes you out into your zen garden, your, your courtyard area, whatever you'd like to call it. Obviously, You've got your feature wall there with the fountain coming out. It looks nice, it sounds great, and it really does add a feature of air and nature to a home this large. Now I mentioned as well, all of the furniture custom made and you need it custom made in a house like this. I mean, can you, can you believe it? This is incredible. Right over here, huge recess for your TV into this feature wall that's made out of marble. And over here, as well as over here, on each side of this gas fireplace behind me, you've got your inbuilt speaker system, like I mentioned. I mean, a lot of the homes we show you are entertainers' dreams, but I mean, I think a lot of us are gonna be asking our companies for raises now, aren't we? Now over here, we're walking into the bar area, which can again, through these pocket doors, be sealed off completely from the living room area, which we like. If you're entertaining, if you've got guests over, you just wanna reduce the noise a bit, you can do that. And also, if you wanna just make it a little bit warmer in this home, you can do that. Speaker systems above us, beautiful, unique ceiling with the bulkhead recessed lighting. Again, this floating island with the matching countertops to the kitchen bar fridge underneath over here. You've got your ice maker over there. Another one of those repeated chef's sinks with the incredible finish of it not being able to be damaged while you're using it. TV space, display cabinet, under counter storage. It is stunning. But one of my favorite features of this sliding door over here, glass all the way up to the top that looks out onto your fire pit as well as your pool. Now we're gonna push off into the patio and talk about that, but before we do that, let's talk about some other cool features. You've got electric blinds throughout this home, and I'm gonna show you them demonstrated um, on a really nice section of the house when we go up the stairs. But what, what a patio. 
I mean, your house opens up completely. This brings a new meaning to indoor outdoor living. You've got the blinds that come down right over here, sealing you off from the sun if it's bothering you. So much space for entertainment, so much space for relaxation, for outdoor eating. And talking about outdoor eating, when we come off into this dining area right here, you've got a space to whip up a couple of meals. You've got another one of those chef sinks, same quality. You've got your gas, bry, gas, fireplace, barbecue for your Australians that might want to move here. Um, all of this extra storage underneath there and just a stunning, stunning view of all of the green belts in Stain City. But we've yet to talk about the garden. So let's go take a look at that. Now moving off into the garden, you can see that the client really has utilized the space so well. You've got quite a good strip of green here and it's not something you need in Stain City. Stain City's got so many places for your kids to play, for them to go out because it is so safe and it is so secure. And you can note that by the fact that this house is surrounded by fencing, which we like. We like feeling safe, we like feeling secure. And there's nowhere else to feel warm, safe and secure like that fire pit. Recess down into the floor. You can sit down there and enjoy a braai, roast some marshmallows, but on a hot summer day, maybe you want to take a dip in the pool. And this pool is incredible with both a ledge for you to sit down and just soak as well as an easy entrance on the other side. It's perfectly placed, gets a lot of sunlight. And just next to it, you've got your lounging area. You can plop down on one of those fat sacks, relax, drink a cocktail now that the alcohol restrictions have lifted and just enjoy life. And all of you should be enjoying life because you deserve it. But what else do you deserve? To see the bedrooms upstairs. So follow me, let's go back inside the house and let's take a look at what else it has to offer when we journey up those stairs. So coming from outside, we're walking back into the home and I'm gonna slip this way. Catch me if you can. And here we are, right by the stairwell. We've got the guest bathroom over there, another entrance for the other half of the garages over here. Now this guest bathroom is impeccably finished like the rest of the home. One full wall is clad in white marble, just like that feature wall you saw in the living area. Then we've got the toilet, obviously with a hidden cistern, soft closed lid, huge vanity with mirror on the wall, plenty of space to store, and it is just such a nice place to be in and perfectly situated to service anybody coming to visit. And then we've got this stunning staircase leading up to the second level. Now, as you can see, floor to ceiling glass, and just above it, we've got that electric blind, and we're gonna show you how that works, but follow me as we walk up this beautiful wood staircase, rimmed with stainless steel and glass, all of the lighting just leading up and drawing the eye to the first level. But another cool feature is each of these steps has a piece of steel inlaid into it, so you know you're not gonna slip, no matter how excited you get to go look at your car collection. Now, once you arrive on the landing just above the staircase, on your right-hand side, immediately you will find your office space, fully kitted out with everything you need to run your business from home, built-in shelving as well as desks, and then on the far right-hand side of your office, you've got, again, your floor-to-ceiling windows letting in every breeze you might need, but it is also serviced with your central air conditioning. Now that we've spoken about the office over here, let's talk about the first bedroom, and it is located upstairs. This bedroom has got its very own walk-in closet just around the corner by the entrance, so when you come in, you've got access to everything you need, but this is beautifully set out. Again, serviced by the central air conditioning, plenty of space. We've got a queen bed in here that fits ultra, ultra easy. Now, moving off to this side, you've got your in-suite bathroom. Every single bedroom has its own in-suite bathroom, and directly in front of me, again, those unique to this home, floor to ceiling windows that fold open and just let in a breeze, but also bring in so much light and make it feel so open. Love the design and I love that this home has utilized it in all of the bedrooms. But now it's bathroom time. As soon as you walk into the bathroom, the first thing your eyes snap to are how many windows are in this bathroom. All of them are frosted, but it is beautiful. It makes you feel like you're at a spa. You've got your freestanding bathtub there. You've got a walk-in shower, again, framed with windows. And then you've got those stunning and absolutely enormous white tiles with a gray veining that make it seem even more up-class than the finishes already do. 
So coming out of the first bedroom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom all the way around to the other end of the house. But while we're doing that is I want you to take a look at how this upper level's been designed for you to just look down onto your living area. It feels like you're at a gallery, it feels like this is a viewing deck, and you can just appreciate the design thought that's went into this home. It is absolutely stunning, and sitting here and looking down really does give you such a feeling of grandeur. But here we are on the other side of the house in one of the other bedrooms. It is situated and designed much like the rest, but there's a couple of really cool features here. One. Not so much a feature, but design choice. You come from your tiles into your wood flooring. This is in all the bedrooms, so I love that they've done that. Gives you a bit of a mix up, changes things up. Again, ensuite bathroom over here, those floor to ceiling windows. And now, all the cupboards in all the rooms have one slat that is a mirror. I love that they've done this. Becomes so useful and also opens up the room. Then with this bedroom specifically, it has access to a balcony that runs the length of the house. But before we talk about the balcony, because we'll leave that for the last bedroom, let's talk about this bathroom. Your bathroom once again comes fully equipped with a walk-in shower, your freestanding bathtub, floating vanity with under counter storage, massive mirror, and then the windows inlaid on the far end, all frosted, but lets in so much light. So two bedrooms are done. We've got two more to go and one of them is the creme de la creme. But let's enjoy this walk. Let's take a look at our living areas. Let's enjoy how far we've come in life when living in a home like this. And now we find ourselves in the third bedroom. Again, it is almost a mirror copy of the previous bedroom that we just looked at. Again, plenty of space in here, beautiful wood floorings, high ceilings, access to your central air conditioning. And then if I come over here and take a look, that's where you'll adjust your central air conditioning, your lights, your heated flooring, which is in all the bedrooms. And then that remote over there controls your automatic blinds. We've spoken about the bathroom. Let's just run through it very, very quickly again. Your bathroom once again comes fully equipped with a walk-in shower, your freestanding bathtub, floating vanity with under counter storage, massive mirror, and then the windows inlaid on the far end, all frosted, but lets in so much light. Before we go anywhere, I did promise we're gonna talk about this outside the balcony and we may as well do it right now. Again, as I mentioned, it runs the length of the front of the home. The sliding door opens up and this is actually a really good time to mention all of these doors and the windows are insulated. So it's a double pane with the vacuum in the middle. Keeps you cool during the summer, warm during the winter. You open this up and I'm standing here and I'm thinking, it's a bit bright. Left my sunglasses downstairs, what can I do? I can just pull this right over here and look at that, shading wherever you want it. These run across, there's one, two, three, four of them. So you never need to worry about anybody in the home stealing your specific shade blinds. There's one for each of the rooms as well as the lounge area upstairs. And that is pretty much where we're gonna go next. Let's go. And here we are within the second to last room upstairs that we're gonna be talking about. And this is your pajama lounge or your upstairs lounge area. Again, beautifully sized, access to that central air conditioning as well as access to your central speaker system or sound system, heated flooring, all of your switches built into the wall. And then this pocket door right here, if you want a bit of privacy, you can close it up and enjoy a perfect movie night with a family, which is what I think I might be doing right now. So I'll see you in the creme de la creme. Okay, so now, now that movie night's done, let's do it. The creme de la creme, the master suite, that's what we're gonna talk about right now, and get ready, because this master suite is incredible. So here we are within the master suite. Again, it shares that balcony that runs along the length of this home, but it is extra size. Yeah, you've got a perfect seating area, all your vents, as well as access to your central sound system. Massive king-size bed here with so much space. And then the opening 
for your balcony area is also larger, which we like, let's in all that light, let's in all that air. But this balcony has got something special because it is located in the corner of the home, you have unobstructed views of the whole of Stain City as well as Danefern Golf Estate. It is stunning and I can only imagine how nice it must look at night. But there's more, there's always more in the master suite. So let's take a look at what a walk-in closet in a home in Stain City looks like. And here it is, a walk-in closet with two inbuilt mirrors on my left and right hand side. All of these doors slide open, allowing you access to your clothes and all your other utilities. I love where it's been situated. I also like that there's a window right in front of me, letting in so much natural light, as well as all these down lightings here. And probably most important, when you've just hopped out the shower, access to your aircon system. But we've spoken about showers, and we haven't shown you the ensuite and I think it's time, let's go. So leaving your walk-in closet, you pass a couple of coat racks so conveniently built into the wall and you find yourself in the master suite. Behind me, you'll see more wardrobes and some of you might be thinking, mm, wardrobes in a bathroom, why? The reason being is this shower right here, two shower heads, walk-in shower, as well as a handheld shower head with two different settings so you can always make sure it's the perfect temperature, is completely sealed off from the rest of the bathroom so you know none of that steam is going to escape and again ruin not only your viewing experience with the mirrors behind me but also any clothing you might have there but there's so much more to talk about in this bathroom stunning lighting bulkhead ceiling floor to ceiling windows across this whole wall that's frosted off and basically presents this pebble bath right over here that's freestanding as almost an art piece it looks incredible you've got your double vanities plenty of under counter storage there Mirrors that run the length of the wall and then over here a heated towel rack because nobody's hopping out of shower with cold towels. Then one last thing is you've got your toilet tucked away and again all frosted off for privacy in the corner in its very own cubicle with a door that you can close. And there we have it folks, a 30 million rand, four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, Ultra Mansion in Stain City, one of the most exclusive upmarket and sought after areas within Gauteng. So if you are interested in this mansion, and I can't see who wouldn't be. It is absolutely incredible. What I want you to do is contact Selma Kinghorn and she will set up an exclusive appointment for you to view this incredible home in person. So do not hesitate. All of her details will be on screen right now. From myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private Property, thank you all for joining in. Guys, I love it that you watch every single episode. I love all of you that comment. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking to see more of them, so don't feel shy to talk in that comment box. And stay tuned. Mondays, Fridays, 8 p.m., we're going to be showing you everything else that Gauteng has to offer.